A potential hurricane is brewing in the Atlantic, and it's on a collision course with Spain. Meteorologists are closely monitoring the development of Storm Isaac, which could impact parts of the country within days. But before Isaac arrives, Spain is already grappling with severe weather. Storm Ator is currently battering the north and northwestern regions, bringing strong winds of up to 80 km per hour and heavy rainfall. Dozens of towns and cities are on high alert as they brace for the storm's impact. As Ator begins to retreat on Friday, it will leave behind a cold front. Temperatures are expected to plummet, dropping 5 to 10 degrees Celsius below the seasonal average across much of Spain. Only the Mediterranean coast will maintain temperatures above 25 degrees. Unfortunately for those hoping for a late burst of summer warmth, it appears that an Indian summer is unlikely this year. While temperatures may briefly climb at the beginning of next week, they're set to fall again from Tuesday onwards. This is when Storm Isaac is predicted to approach the Iberian Peninsula. Currently developing over the Atlantic, Isaac has the potential to reach hurricane status. However, weather experts are urging calm and caution when interpreting long-range forecasts. It's important to note that predictions for weather systems like Isaac are inherently uncertain, especially when looking six days ahead. The forecast could still undergo significant changes. However, based on current projections, Isaac could indeed reach Spain and have some notable effects. If Isaac does make landfall, its impact is expected to be relatively limited due to its small size. The most significant concern would be the strong winds associated with the storm, particularly in western areas of Spain. Gusts could be substantial in these regions. However, the system is expected to weaken rapidly once it moves inland. In terms of rainfall, the core of the system is predicted to bring the heaviest precipitation to Portugal, Galicia and Extremadura. Other areas in the south and west of Spain may also see some rainfall, albeit less intense. At this stage, it's too early to provide specific details about expected rainfall amounts. As Spain faces this potential double threat from Eta and Isaac, residents and visitors alike are advised to stay informed about the evolving weather situation. While long-range forecasts can change, it's always wise to be prepared for severe weather conditions. Keep an eye on official weather updates and follow any guidance provided by local authorities.